So YouTube actually has its own free AI tool for creating AI generated video backgrounds in YouTube Shorts. So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to use it, but the tool itself or the AI behind it is called Dream Screen. It does have some limits, but it is a really powerful way to create amazing looking generated videos for your YouTube Shorts or really any vertical content. And also unlike a lot of other AI tools out there, this one is totally free. Now this was actually released a little while back, but they didn't push it out very far. But now it's actually accessible in a lot of countries. I guess the only other key piece of information you need to know is that right now this is mobile only. So I'm going to take you through using an iPhone, but it's the same on Android. So to do this, you just want to open up the YouTube mobile app, not the YT Studio app, the actual YouTube app. Down the bottom, you've got the plus button. You want to press on that. And then, hey, look, I'm on camera. So this is actually kind of hidden a little bit. You would assume that it's going to be here under this little AI looking icon or effects icon, but it's actually not in there. So we want to pull this down. There is still a couple of different ways that we can access this, but you want to hit the little arrow here and you want to go to the green screen effect because essentially this is going to generate a background for us. But then what you'll see is down the bottom here, we've got this AI button. So if we press on that, then now it says we can create a background. It does say it's an experimental feature right now, but we get to describe what we'd like to create. And you can see across the bottom here, we've got some example prompts that we can use, or at least used for inspiration. So let's go a cat surfing on a massive wave. Why not? Who doesn't want to see that? So then we can scroll across and we can choose a style. I'm just going to leave it as none and let's choose create. Now what I like about this is it is actually pretty quick. This isn't one where we're going to need to spend hours and hours waiting for the AI. And you can see here it's generating four preview images for us right now. And I mean, I didn't speed that up or anything. That's real time how quick that took. So if we're happy with any of these, we can pick it or there is the button down the bottom there to try again. But I'm gonna pick this one here in the top right and that makes it a bit bigger for us. So we can just use this image in its current form by hitting use image down the bottom or we can animate this and we can hit create video, which is what I'm gonna do now. Again, this all happens pretty quick. You can see that's just flying through there now. And then not long after that, this is what we get, a cat surfing on a pretty big wave. I mean, that looks like Tahiti or cloud break in Fiji. So obviously if it didn't do a great job, you can hit try again, but when you're happy with it, you can hit continue. And that now is gonna show up as the background here because I did hit this as the green screen effect. So our options here is obviously if you wanna be on green screen, we could pinch to zoom that down. To so scale that down, we can rotate, we can move it around as you normally would. Maybe put me down the bottom corner here. And when we hit record, and hold that in, then it's going to allow me to talk and to present, but also it's gonna play this background thing happening as well. Or if you don't wanna be on the background, then you could just position yourself smaller and move yourself off to the side or out of the shot here. And then we press record and this is playing through. So we're able to get the video file this way. Okay, so we're back here on the main shorts creation screen. Now again, we've got shorts selected down the bottom here, but we also have the option here to hit add as if we were going to add in a photo or a video or something from our device. And you can see at the top here, we've got create. So if I press on that, we're taken back to that same thing. So you can either access it as a video background through the green screen area, or we can do it directly from here. Let's try a dog astronaut floating in space. Why not? Again, it's generating four previews here for us. Okay, pretty solid. I'm gonna pick bottom left. Let's see what it does with this one. That looks pretty cool. Now we can actually save this image at this point too. If we press the three little dots in the top right hand corner, we can share it. We can save it to device as well directly from here. Let's create a video from this. So that is something to be aware of is that you can't give it instructions to the animation that you want it to have. So right now it's just animating that picture, but to what it thinks it should or could look like. Oh, there you go, that's pretty cool. So that's even added the tail there as well. I mean, pretty amazing. This is just built in and totally free. So then when we wanna use this again, we hit continue and that's then gonna show up as a six second clip that we can then record our content around or edit into our videos from here. So we could choose to have less of this time if we wanted, but when we're done, we hit done. 
and then I can record my piece to camera. So I could be recording and switching between the AI shots here and me presenting on here. Or I just go and create another one to tell the story next. And then we could add in a voiceover or anything like that afterwards. So I could quickly record something here and we see that building out across the top. And then when we're happy, we can just hit the tick to apply this. It's now gonna play through our two clips here. In this case that we've created, we've got our dog and then there was me just talking. But what we can do here is we can go to timeline and this is where we can move stuff around and further refine everything down here. We can easily add some text and customize this up as you normally would. Now in another video, we dive into all the settings that are in here. So if you wanna dive deeper on that, then definitely check that out. But let's hit next, then goes through processes our video and then it gets it set up ready to publish. So it's a pretty cool fast way that you can easily create portrait AI videos right from the YouTube app. Now, if you wanna find out the latest AI video related tools that I'm geeking out on, that I'm playing with and the top stuff that I recommend, just scan the QR code on screen or there is a link in the description. And that's something that we keep updated as things change fast and this stuff is changing fast. But if you wanna dive deeper into AI and YouTube shorts, then check out the video linked on screen. As always, there's a bunch of other links and resources in the description box below and I will see you in the next video. Cheers.